We continue our team coverage tonight. Our ABC 10 News reporter Laura Acevedo is joining us now live with what we are learning about those impacted by this tragic crash. Laura. Nearly 12 hours neighborhood later, this neighborhood is now quiet, but the devastating scene still remains behind me. That UPS truck still in the middle of the road where it was hit. And tonight, still so many questions about how this could have happened. The fireball was visible for miles. This is what it looked like after a plane crash shattered the peace and quiet in this Santee neighborhood. Several witnesses say the plane clipped a UPS truck in the street, then slammed into two homes. <laughs> Courtney and Cody are newlyweds who lived in one of the homes destroyed, a majority of their home burning on impact. The couple was at work their dog with a family member. Cody was only supposed to work a half day, but ended up staying longer. Obviously relief that <laughs> they're both okay and their dog is okay. Um, but overall, you know, it's, it's, it's traumatic. The couple had postponed their wedding celebration until May because of COVID, bought their first home in June, and just finished remodeling the entire thing. They just finished remodel yesterday. They'll now have to rebuild from the ground up. It could have been different. We're just really lucky. Others, unfortunately, not as lucky. The driver of this UPS truck killed on impact. A man who delivered packages in this community for years. I always called him Santa. Although he hasn't been identified, neighbors say he was months away from retirement. They say he was always smiling, cared about his job, and was always thoughtful. And some people with dogs, he'd bring treats and, you know, give treats to him. He was a super guy. UPS saying they are heartbroken by the loss of their employee, sharing condolences to his family and friends and all others involved. He was always personal with, with his deliveries. He was a friend. And uh, he treated everybody, you know, like a person, not, not a customer, but like a person. And the family of that newlywed couple have set up a GoFundMe page to help them rebuild their home. But they tell me that they want the community to not forget those others that were hurt or did not survive this crash, asking that the community also help them as well. You can find a link to that GoFundMe page on our website, 10news.com. Reporting live in Santee, Laura Acevedo, ABC 10 News.